yards shy of the red zone before going out. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. On the slant, complete to Hopkins. A good down to possibly take a shot. And in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. And Hopkins has got it. Touchdown, Arizona. DeAndre Hopkins with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cardinals get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. And oh, he missed it. It's no good. And that will keep this a three-point game. back out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss he will return this from deep in the end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 the 49er offense set to get this drive underway and they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. Now he's forced out left. Left side, that's caught by Mitchell. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Off of play action, here's Lance. He'll swing this out to Mostert. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Second and six. A final shot before half for Lance. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Now running on first down is Moster, but he can only manage a yard, and that's about it before he's tackled. On second down, Moster. And shedding through the tackle. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 
Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Lance now on first down. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. They give to Cannon. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give them a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. This on first and goal. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the came in and put that drive away. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Oh, trying to gauge the sun, and he muffs it. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Second and ten here as we roll along in quarter number three from Santa Clara. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Rolling to his right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They're going for it. It's Murray. Going deep for Hopkins. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And my goodness, that means this next drive will begin four yards from the end zone already. Lance looking to throw it. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Another try after the first down sack. Lance, and a quick throw here that's complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. 
A nice job to get 11 out of that pass play, but now they face a third and goal. Throwing now is Lance. It returns it right back to Samuel. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. And they'll go for it. Lance sliding out of the pocket. And they hit him as he throws as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Cardinal defense comes up with a goal line stand. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first down is Murray. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And they'll start with great field position at the 41 yard line. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Lance a handoff here to Mostert, and he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 53 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest. And they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Here's Mostert, toss left side. Back-to-back one-yard runs here, so that leaves him with a third down and eight. Once again, it's Mostert. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. And he will not and make it back to the line of scrimmage. Kyle Shanahan, an offensive mind, but his guy stopped up short. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jason Barrett, and his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw, it's Lance. Touchdown, 49ers! 